Well, that was a warm reprieve from the usual tedium. Wash away all that fatigue? Yes, but it's been nose to the grindstone almost as soon as I came back. And I can't be letting the backlog pile up. I'll be able to organize a visit to the spa for Lavender sometime. I'm you now. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, we went to the Kevis Castle town and did a few things there. And also came across a very troubled person, artist, who has many issues to sort out. Yeah. But I digress. Also, um, one thing that I cannot believe that did not click just now, but Colony Lambda is not just a name that Monolith pulled out of nowhere. Lambda is actually a very famous art school, or I guess performance art school, in London, in the UK. A lot of prevalent actors, voice actors, and artists have come from that. One of which is uh, Elena, aka the voice of Bayonetta. Mm. Anyway, moving on. There you are, Moraine. Oh, it's you. Is everything okay? We heard about Sajima and we were just wondering how you were doing. Oh, you heard about that. Yeah, Sajima passed away. But you don't have to worry about me. It's hard, but I'm doing fine now. Wow, you're so strong, Moraine. I think I understood everything he wanted to pass on. I was doing my best to keep his legacy alive. After we came back with you, we had a long chat, just the two of us. Talked a lot of stuff. You looked really content. So thanks for everything you did. No, we hardly did anything. If he died peacefully, then that was all you're doing, Moraine. But it did make me worry about Colony Lambda a bit. Worry? How's that? We're a well-regulated colony, but it takes time and effort to put in requests and get permission for anything you want to do. You seem to be uneasy about how much that slows everything down. I understand. Yes, those rules have managed to keep the colony running well enough, but... The colony's combination of talented individuals and strong leadership is what led it to the top of the rankings. Listen, I get that everything takes days to get done, but listen. Got a second, Moraine? Well, well, if you're repaying me a visit, it must be important. Just because we're in the same cohort doesn't mean we have to be best friends. Sure, so what's going on? Agnes forces are approaching Connie Lambda. We don't have the concrete numbers, but the sensors have registered anything, so they're probably coming by air. We've sent a recon team heading by Captain Roche, so we're hoping to intercept them soon. That's not great. Not at all. Quite a bit worse, in fact, given that half the colony is still being rebuilt. We're mobilizing everyone. You too, Moraine. I'll be there. In that case, welcome too. That would be appreciated. I have more squads to talk to, so go to the captain and he'll send you where you need it. Why is it Lambda that keeps on being lambasted? Yeah, and you'd think with it being hidden behind a waterfall, it wouldn't even be noticed or thought about. I mean, be fair, the big thing's really not that subtle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But hey, <laughs> it's almost fitting. Everyone wants to get into Lambda. You don't say. It must be because of the ether. Probably. Tanya tells me you're going to give us a hand as well. Sorry, I already dragged you into our business. It's not like we could just let you handle it alone. Well, now I'm happy to hear it. Looks like everyone's here. Let's crack on with the briefing. Squad captains have all. The particulars. We'll run through the broad strokes of the strategy here, so pay attention. They likely have considerable numbers and firepower, and the land is not exactly at the height of its power. How accurate is our data on the enemy? Koji verified their firepower, and it lines up with the recon team's intel. Well, if Koji says so, I'm not going to argue. We've already posted those defensive squads, so you should be able to confirm the numbers. Can you afford to do that? They're pretty much knocking on your door, aren't they? Tolkien's the tactician and he's focusing on defense. That doesn't mean just sitting and talking everything that's thrown at them. The idea is so fragment the enemy of each class and stall them. And in this kind of combat, how much intel you have on the enemy is of vital importance. Yeah, it's going about saying that you need to know the likely movements and size of the enemy's forces. Exactly. 
I'm thinking of deploying some all, all left as well. Keep them on top. Good plan. Big strategy dictates that you should put them in a location which would be e as difficult for soldiers alone to defend. Right, let's do it then. All squads prepare for battle. Guess that means us too. Lands when doesn't it? And also, buddy, I was about to say, Izarugi, where were you during that cutscene? <laughs> Back at the spa, I assume, but who knows? Why do we always do that? <sighs> it isn't just you, it's me. We always jump. Because... Always is thinking we're gonna make the jump, but we never do. Because we're dreamers, damn it. And isn't having dreams good? You did come after all. Yep. You're preparing for an Agnes attack. We certainly are. Not far from now, we're gonna be marching out there, surrounded by fierce enemies. We're being stationed near the waterfall entrance. Are you with us? Yeah. We'll stick with you. Then let's go to the waterfall entrance and stage a counterattack. Engage that song! Here they come! Hey, no fair. They're early. No point crying over that now. Let's go! Gondor's like, oh yeah! Oh yeah, I get to kick the some dag's ass! <laughs> Dead dag, though! Well, leave way, let's kill him, let's knock him out, and let's, um, well, make him do. Why is Agnes attacking Agnes? You're kind of right there. It still doesn't really make the most sense when it's this, you know? Oh well. Luckily these people will not take that long to take down. Behold, my dicks of destruction! <laughs> We're fighting in Isrugi stead. <laughs> uh huh. I'm him! We're a decoy! We'll draw the enemy fire if they think, oh my god, it's the actual commander who's out there. Dude, we're on the same side! Why can't we be friends? <laughs> I like how everyone else just went away. So Did we win? Oh, now we get all the stuff in the Levinus. Yeah. Good thing you were here. I decided to put you out, though. Mate, that's what we're here for. It's the least we can do. Yeah, reckon you're right. Anyway, we took care of the Vanguard, but the second wave is on its way. There's bound to be a lot of them. Agnes don't do things by halves. Normally, we would fend off an assault like this, no problem. But unfortunately for us, we've got a number of squads barely even hanging on right now. Then we gotta help them out. No question. No. You take five in the canteen. Support us in the next one. Will you? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm getting comments from the other squads too. I need to react to them the moment's notice. So, it's to demand your full attention. Okay, see you on the other side. Something's wrong you, Tyon. Yes, but first, let's go to the canteen. Uh, why? Huh. Good thing we found this. Why would we go to the canteen? Huh. Huh. This seems a little bit weird, if you ask me. <laughs> also, drop. Yay. Kind of apropos. Just having a cut there, just had that sort of an audio issue. Yeah, so what happened with the all levs in the end? I heard people discussing it on the road. There's only one left apparently, and it's defending the upper level. Hey, it's Moraine. I hope she doesn't push herself too hard. Land is all about the cooperative effort and a well run. 
And it's made up of numbers, but I can imagine there will be that of an opponent. Absolutely, Lambda's cohesion and firm leadership is a force to be reckoned with. But there's an odd fatigue about, about the colony right now. I don't know if they're just exhausted by the work that the flame clock brought on, or if it's something else. Perhaps the combat supply units just aren't quite working in Concord. Ah, oh, yeah. They've been trying to find a niche outside war, fixing all the levs, if finding all that. Right, and all those little things build up in distress. There's a lot more to worry about, but it's all moot if we can't win this battle now. Yeah, let's see what we can do in the front, yeah? They all need to visit the spa. <laughs> they pretty much do. <laughs> yeah, guys, you seem very calm right now. Right, who's died? What situation? Must say, I'm happy to see your smiling face. Enemies nearby upon us. It's coming from up top. Up top? Got to most of our units for a counter attack. Rosh, wait. Hold your course straight ahead. What? It doesn't make as much sense for the Agni Army to hold the top at this point in the fight. If they were going to do that, they would have created a diversion right away and attacked here. Yet they hardly dare with our forces. They're not going to risk everything on, on a gamble now. Good eye, lad. So, what's the conclusion? My guess is that they're trying to strategically tie down our forces on some proper level. It's a convincing argument. I'll shore up our weakest points. That's a captain for you. Lightning fast decisions. Bam! <laughs> I know. I get a bad rap, but I do know how to lead the combat unit. We'll push through to the top. If there's an all left post up there too, it'll be a cakewalk. Okay, this is it. Everyone, let's go. And everybody's like, why is Lance dressed up as a console? Is Lance a console now? <laughs> the answer is... Maybe. Sorry. So I thought if I pause, it might help. It yeah. did. It didn't. There is a joke I want to do, but it'll mess up the mic quality. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to do that. Right, so now where do I go for this unique area? Up top, of course. Watch your footing, guys. No. <laughs> Have we still? Oh my God, it still has. God damn. Too good to pass up. I say we retrieve it. No, lands were fine. Um, I don't think I'm meant to be going up this high. Whew. Well, well, I like how they tried to come from above. <laughs> so let's do the same. <laughs> don't, don't die. <laughs> oh, I love the irony. If they go high, you go higher. That's tactics for you. Why are you attacking again? I think that was the last of them. How many was that even? Must have sent the whole Agnes over here. Should probably find someone to report to at some point. Yeah, shall we go to the commander's office? I can't help but wondering why they're targeting Colony Lambda. What do you mean, Tyon? I just don't understand why you go to the trouble of actively attacking Colony's defensive strongest Colony Lambda. Maybe they wanted the ether. Not impossible, but then why attack by air? You were thinking it, mate. They just decided to use. I learned that that's all. I certainly hope that's all. Tyon, if it's you, most likely not the case. Yeah. 
It's like, whenever you have a bad feeling, guess what? It's normally because there is a bad feeling. I like how now it's got to the point in which they're attacking Agnes, but it's like, why are they attacking Connie Lamb? Duh. I made that same mistake when I was in that area, don't worry. <laughs> at least it, at least he brought you back here. Curse you, gravity! I'd like to thank you all for your effort in, in defending the colony. We've confirmed the retreat and defeat of all enemy forces. You caught you can all take it easy for the rest of the day. Togrim, would you mind staying behind with the commander and me? Yes, sir. We need to look into their intended targets and how they got here. Goji? I bought them. You did what? You knew that already though, didn't you? They came by here because they knew about our sensor system. I told them where Lambda's defenses were weakest, and I passed the information to them via the Nopon Caravan. What are you talking about? Do you have any idea what you're saying? Koji, you'll be put in solitary for this! I get that everyone's worn out, but this isn't time for plays, uh, for jokes. Go and sleep it off. From where I'm standing, Quick reaction on our part would have avoided the Autolevs from being wasted. But Lambda isn't capable of that right now. If the Ouroboros hadn't been here, we would have crumbled. You can excel in tactics, you can fight impressive battle, but you still end up on the losing side. If we can't react flexibly when we're threatened, then that's fatal to us as a colony. You're probably right. Colony Lambda needs to change. If we can't, we die. I'm... I'm not going to roll over and die cowering for the future like Shijimi when he ran away. I know you won't either, Captain. Take him away. But... We can't leave things this way. Colonel Lambda can't survive this, and you know it! I'm sorry you had to see that. No, we just... Koji's words are reasonable. Or all keenly aware of our safe situation. In that case, baby change isn't impossible. Think of discipline as a protective or armor. It isn't easy to cast it off for freedom. Everything becomes a source of fear. Commander. Thank you for working with us on this. You deserve a well earned rest. Sometimes. You've got to go to extremes in order to, to know exactly where the weakest points are. Mm -hmm. huh. I see some relations have changed. Yep. I guess you can honestly call that possibly Colony Lander's a wake up call. I can imagine, just like Jeremy, he's around here somewhere. Yeah. Let's talk about it. We could do with some food. I think we need to discuss this. Man, Lander's the most hardworking bunch of I've ever seen. Exceptionally talented too. It's no wonder they held on their rank for so long. Which means that ending up in a situation like the one we just had is entirely on my head. 
You say that, but you can't please them all. Some people think it's all honky-dory, some don't. There's no right answer. That's a very earnest observation, Uni. I'm a very earnest observer, don't you know? Yep, you definitely are. Call the land was a week before we established the chain of command. Right. The system was revived, the current structure took shape, and land became a strong colony. Strict discipline allowed us to broaden our strategies and strengthen our units. But now those rules are strangling the colony. That doesn't change the fact that these formalities are what made Lambda strong in the first place. And that's why they can't just tear down the system that got them here, even when they know it's inefficient. It's why Koji took the actions he did, to challenge that system. I'm sure Koji was thinking of Condi Lambda, in his own way. Yeah, he had to be. I'm sure he only wanted what was best for the colony. Indeed. As it happens, we set up a place in the commander's office to discuss our next options with the captains. Would you care to join us? We'd like to get as many ideas as we can on the table. Okay, let's have a shoo. A shufty. A shufty? Shuffle. Ah. Because, you know, Brits. <laughs> They're shuffy bit. <laughs> anyway. Weird times, and I... Oh, let's be off. Man. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird seeing this, especially how England is right now. Mm. In terms of like, what needs to change, what don't need to change. I'll just say this. Colony Lambda... It is a strong colony. However, this is a different world. Times are changing. Adapt and survive. Hopefully change is coming. Because if Lambda holds on, then it don't change. Till then, guys, we are going to call things here. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, then please, of course, be sure to like it. And of course, if you want to follow us on this video, if you want to then please subscribe to see more. We'll see you guys next time for whatever comes next for us the lp for lambda and beyond see you next time